This After Effects tutorial is made possible by ArtBeatsExpress.com. Create a free ArtBeats Express account today and receive free high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Content includes footages, images, After Effects templates, sound effects and more. Click the link in the description below. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this really cool and amazing looking abstract particle stimulation into Adobe After Effects using a third party plugin called the Trap Code Particular. So I hope you have it and in case if you don't, the link will be in the description so you can go and download it and get back to this video. So without any further ado, let's get straight ahead to the tutorial and get started. Alright, so as you can see, these particles are 3D, so they look really, really nice. And you can add some really nice depth of field from the 3D camera and make it look even, even really cool. So, you know, you can go pretty crazy with this effect. And if you want to go the next level of craziness, you can just add some more particles and, you know, to get something really nice and really awesome so it's gonna be fun to play around with this effect with this really cool thing and i hope you enjoy this video so let's get started pretty quick so i'm gonna create a new composition really quick and i'm just gonna name this uh, particles and hit ok then i'm gonna hit ctrl y on the keyboard to create a new solid let's just name this particles again then i'm gonna go to effect trap code and particular so this is gonna basically give us some really nice particle emission, like so. So let's just create a new camera pretty quick. So I'm just gonna create a 28 millimeters, looks good and okay. Now, if I go into my camera and switch to top view, you can see the particles are getting generated all around everywhere, like they're gonna generate in random direction or you can say every direction so I want the particles to be generated in a one particular direction that is towards our camera so to do that I'm gonna select the particular layer and where it's a directional I'm gonna set this from uniform to directional so now you can see the particles are getting generated to a particular direction so we need to you know rotate the particles so that they generate towards the camera so I'm gonna select the particles and Rotate the Y rotation and hopefully, yes, Y rotation to 180 degrees. And now if I switch back to my active camera, they are emitting towards the camera. So if I increase the velocity pretty quick, you can see, just make this 700. The particles are generated towards the camera. We need to drag the particles a bit further. So I'm going to switch back to our top view and Make sure the particles layer is selected and I'm going to just send this back through my Z position into a Z space. So I'm going to send this back right over there. It looks, yeah, that is looking pretty okay to me. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close my emitter and go to particles. Now, there's nothing much we need to do in this particle setting. Uh, just I'll just bring this down to zero, and that's all we need to do. Then I'm gonna go into my aux system and set this from off to continuous, and this is gonna help us to emit that kind of a warm effect. So now let's just play around with the setting. So first of all, I want to create more particles in this particular line. So to do that. I'm gonna go and increase the particles per second. So I'm gonna just increase this to let's say maybe 400 should be good enough. Yep, that looks pretty good. And bring the size down to let's say 1.5. Yep, that is looking pretty nice. So I'm gonna, you can also play around with the opacity if you want to, but I'm gonna set this to 50 or leave that to 50. Then I'm gonna go to my opacity over life and select a preset. Now you can this different kind of preset or create your own if you want to, but I'm gonna go with this for now. Then I'm gonna go into my color over life and select some really nice colors. So 
first of all let's just create some random colors so I'm gonna go with something like an orange and this to something like a red or kind of a cherry red like so and bring this to maybe kind of a yellow and this to a really nice blue if you want to go with and let's just make this a really nice purple that looking really nice now you can go with your own colors I'm just you know adding some random stuff to this then we can close this up and that's all we need to do in the aux system maybe you can bring down the feather if you want so I'm gonna set this to 10 because I want my lines to be sharp then I'm gonna go to my physics tab and go to the air and go to turbulence field and here is where that thing is gonna take place that warmy kind of an effect so if I increase my complexity to 5 and increase my effect position you can see right off the bat we get that really nice effect and this looks really really nice so if I just pretty quickly render this for you guys you can see that looks pretty nice to me now so you can create some different effects as well so now if I bring this effect position down to zero and maybe I'll just close my air tab and go to aux system and increase the velocity you can see we get this really nice effect if I just pump this up to 100 we get this kind of a fireworks effect which looks amazing don't forget guys it is absolutely 3d so you can anytime go to your camera and animate it rotate the camera and do some really crazy stuff like really amazing with this thing I just love 3d stuff and I just love 3d stuff so yeah you can do this thing if you want to so I'm gonna duplicate this by hitting ctrl D on the keyboard select my first layer that is the top one and I'm gonna bring down the velocity to zero and you can get this really nice effect as well you can create some duplicate copies now it is absolutely looking like a firework thing maybe then I'll go to my aux system and maybe I just forgot what I need to do actually I'm gonna go to my physics tab go to air tab and turbulence field and increase the effect position this time to 50 so you can get this really nice kind of an abstract particle stimulation it looks really nice to me and what you can do is you can also give it a little bit of character by creating a new solid and adding some optical flares to it so I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna effect video copilot and optical flares and I'm just gonna set the transfer mode to screen you can do this from here as well but this make this uh, if you do this from here it's gonna blend it's gonna you know blend the optical flares really nicely then I'm gonna go to your option and clear all and we just need this glow one so I'm just gonna add this glow and set a tint to something like a really nice blue like so make this um, pretty and I'm gonna place this somewhere around there like so then I'm gonna duplicate this and set this to something really nice like an orange color and place this somewhere around there this gives a really nice you know, kind of a really nice look to it and you can also turn on the depth of field of the camera by hitting AA on the keyboard and turning off the depth of field and you can switch to the top view and see where the focal distance is so you just adjust the focal distance as you want so I'm gonna set this to somewhere around 
that's it there maybe I'll just set this around 1200 and increase the aperture to 75 and the blur level to 150 now you can play around with this settings and just check out what fits for you guys and and you can see right off the bat it looks really really nice maybe the aperture is too high let's bring this down to 50 and make this to around 1500 yeah that is looking pretty nice or maybe i'll just make this 1000 you can play around with the settings and see what fits for you and that is looking actually really nice you can also animate the camera so if i pretty quickly go into my transform properties of the camera go to let's say two seconds and keyframe the point of interest and the position go to five seconds and give a little bit of motion maybe like so uh, I'll just pretty quickly render this now you can see it looks really nice and really cool now this is some pretty basic settings which I showed you guys you can you know play around with some different settings and create some really nice effect you know duplicate the layers of the particles and create some really abstract but cool looking effects so i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was if it helped you in some or the other way don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys